Buongiorno e benvenuti. My name is Giovanna and I welcome all of you to my kitchen on the cliff. We are nearing Thanksgiving and I want to tell you a story that will explain what I'm going to make today. There used to be a wonderful store called Chef Central. One day, Chef Central called me to say that uh, they wanted to do a special dinner for Thanksgiving with a demonstration. Would I do a Thanksgiving with an Italian accent? And I said, no, there's no reason to do Thanksgiving with an Italian or any other kind of accent. It has a menu that's perfect. I mean, who doesn't look forward to turkey and sweet potato pie and pumpkin pie and wonderful vegetables, cranberry sauce. So I said, no, no, we, we don't want to touch the uh, Thanksgiving menu because it's just perfect. However, I can help you out with leftovers. So I am going to help you with the leftover turkey that you're going to have in the next several days. And I'm going to introduce you to an Italian summer dish. There is a classic dish called uh, vitello tornato. Vitello is veal with a tuna sauce. Now that may sound very strange to Americans, but I assure you that it is absolutely delicious. So the night that I did the demonstration at Chef Central, um, I made the tuna sauce uh, right at the class just to show how it was made and how easy it is. But then I wanted people to taste it. So I gave everybody a little paper cup of about a quarter of a cup each of this tuna sauce with a spoon. Well, everybody started eating the sauce with a spoon and licked it practically. It was so good, so delicious. So I'm going to share with you a sauce that will give you a leftover Thanksgiving dinner with an Italian twist. Vitello Tornato is a favorite summer dish that can easily be found in Liguria, in Piemonte, in Lombardia, and in Emilia Romagna. The ingredients are very simple and the recipe can be found in my book, The Cooking of Emilia Romagna. And here's the turkey breast with tuna sauce. We're going to make the sauce first and the ingredients are tuna, anchovies, olive oil, capers, and lemon. Now a word about tuna. Tuna can be packed in all kinds of things. It can be packed in vegetable oil, in olive oil, in water. Water is not a preservative. If you're going to eat tuna and have a delicious sandwich or however you eat tuna, buy tuna in olive oil. And if you've never had it, do try it because it is absolutely delicious. All the tuna and olive oil needs is a squeeze of lemon, nothing else, and you will have a wonderful, wonderful dish. Both the tuna and the anchovies are packed in olive oil, so neither of them need to be rinsed. Of course, you'll need your leftover turkey from Thanksgiving, and this is it. This is the breast. Everything else has been uh, eaten, I guess. This is a breast which was roasted, I put a little olive oil on the surface and salt and pepper and I roasted it. However you chose to prepare your turkey for Thanksgiving, it will work. So let's get started with the sauce. So we start with our tuna. You can do this in a blender, you can do it with a, an immersion blender. Okay, we're going to add four anchovy fillets. Now these are salted capers. Capers can be bought packed in salt, the way we like them packed, uh, that is Sicilians. You know, Sicily produces very, very excellent capers, and they ship them packed in salt. But you can also get them packed in vinegar or packed in brine. Now, if you buy capers packed in vinegar or packed in brine, remember that they are going to change the flavor of your sauce, whatever it is that you're doing because the salt doesn't take away or add anything. It adds a saltiness, but the saltiness is going to be washed away. So we're going to take a good tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon of capers for this. I feel generous, I'm gonna add a little more. I'm going to rinse this 
These are the capers. These are small capers, by the way. You can buy them in all sizes. If you buy them larger, you chop them. I like these little ones. So now I'm going to strain the water out. And the residue in the glass, you see, is salt crystals. You don't want that much salt. Now we're going to add the capers. We're going to add a half a cup of olive oil. Right, we're going to add the juice of a lemon. Now I can't tell you if it should be a half a lemon or a whole lemon, because lemons are different sizes, different degree of juiciness. So I'm doing it into a measuring cup so that I could see how much this half lemon yielded. It yielded just about a quarter of a cup, so I'm going to put a little more. That's a quarter of a cup. I'm straining out the, the pits as well as some of the pulp. Okay, we're going to blend it. This has to be blended into a very smooth sauce. So, at this point it's a little bit too thick. And how do you thin it out? I thin it out with broth, if I happen to have some chicken broth or uh, turkey broth or veal broth, or with white wine, or with water. So today I'm going to thin it out with a little bit of water. This is about right. So you add one or two tablespoons of either wine, broth, or water, just to thin it out a little bit. I mean, this is so flavorful that it doesn't matter. You can add water if you want to, but wine will be perfectly fine too. All right, here's the turkey. We're going to slice it. I'm removing the skin. I'm going to start slicing. So the turkey slices are assembled in a single layer. And now we're going to cover each piece completely with the sauce. I've rinsed a few capers and I'm just garnishing the top. Very few. This certainly doesn't look like leftovers and it's worthy of a magnificent Thanksgiving dinner that we all enjoy on one of our favorite holidays. But it's not over. Remember the carcass that we got these lovely slices from? You take the entire leftover carcass. You never, never throw that away. You take the carcass, you put it into your soup pot, add an onion, a carrot, a stalk of celery, and mushrooms if you have them, dried or fresh, and covered with water, plus about two inches. Bring it to a simmer, lower the heat, and simmer it for two to three hours. At the end, strain the whole thing, discard what's in the pot, because it's actually nothing that has much nutritional value. The, the nutrition is all in the broth. So now you have broth, what can you do with the broth? You can take any meat that's left over, that's still left over, and put it into the broth. Add about a half a cup of pastina, and everybody will have another uh, meal of a satisfying soul food. Thanksgiving leftovers. Another meal, an original meal, one that your friends and family probably have never had, and you'll see that they will appreciate it. So enjoy it and bon appetito. Mm. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to get a beautiful dish and a beautiful dinner out of nothing, out of leftovers. So leftovers have a bad name, but if you do this with your leftover turkey, um, you will ask for more. So try it, like it, and please subscribe and keep watching. And, and I love your comments. I, I answer them and uh, it gives me new ideas and I love the idea of having made friends in Norway and in Germany.
today and any other place in the world. So, mwah, love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, alla prossima volta. Oh, this is delicious. I could eat it now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs>